Hi, it's Lisa Hanfaletti, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can import your very first funnel into your free system.io account. And in order to do that, I'm going to take us to this spreadsheet. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger so you can see really well. So this is a spreadsheet that I developed so that it's easy for you <laughs> to get a, your very first landing page funnel into your account. It's just a very simple two page opt in landing page with a thank you page. And this is the funnel right here. And this is how you get the link provided that you've already taken these steps, which is to set up your account um, and check your email, which we just did and create a password. So we have all this stuff set up right here. This is what we just did in that first video. And now you're going to come in here and you're going to import a funnel into your account. I'm going to show you what the funnel looks like first. And the only reason is because this is meant to be a template that is for you to customize. So I'm going to just open up this page right here. This is the template. It has a header. It has a, an opt-in box that just automatically pops up. Or you can, once you close that, you can read the content of what is in the free giveaway. In this case, it's an ebook. It has the button to, again, open that opt-in box. And it has a footer that has some areas for your logo and your policies and terms and disclaimers and your um, copyright and your domain in here. So this is a very simple landing page. We're going to go over the details of what makes this a great landing page in another video, but I just want you to see that's what the first page looks like. And then the second page is the thank you page. So let me show you that page real quick. This is what is going to be going into your account. So this is the thank you page. Congratulations. I just sent you an email and you need to go to the email. You need to click the link and then you need to safe list my email address. So those are the instructions for the thank you page. This is a strategy where we are intentionally not giving them the download yet. And so again, the strategy for all of this, we will go over in another video right now. I'm just showing you the templates, but down here you have an optional section of while they're waiting for the email, which can take a few minutes. Um, here's maybe something else you want to show them or give them access to. And here can be a next step if you want to send them to a Facebook group or an Instagram post or something like that. And again, you have your footer. It's the exact same footer on the bottom of this thank you page. So that is your two page funnel. Here it is. It's 2024 lead magnet opt-in page plus thank you page, this funnel right here. So when you click this link, it's going to give you the option to create your account. But since we've already created it, we don't need to do that because it's already open, but it's in another tab. So let me go ahead and I'm going to put in my email address. I, actually, it says right here, click here to log in. Let me back up. <laughs> so we already have our account. If you hadn't for some reason created your free account, this would still get you to that exact same free account, but we already have an account. So we're going to click here to log in. This is the new account I just created. I'm going to sign in. Now it's asking for a verification code. This is a two factor verification, which many different types of software are going to that now. So this will happen every single time you log in. So that all I need to do is come back to my email address and I have my confirmation code. I also have an email from the developer of system.io. So this is really great information right here. So make sure you save this email. You can go through that at another time and you will get a lot of emails from him. So just so you know, so this is my confirmation code. Every time I log in, this is how this is going to happen. So let me go back to where I was here. I'm going to put in my verification code or confirmation code, trust this device is checked and then I can sign in. So what just happened? I am now now, I'm actually logged in twice, so let me come back over here and I could probably refresh this. And there's my funnel. So I am going to move out of this one so we're not confused. All right, so this is my brand new free account. And if I'll just go back to dashboard. So this is the dashboard and it, it's going to give me this pop up that says you in order to receive payments, you have to complete your profile. And, and that is a good idea to do that. So I'm not going to do that right now. But if you wanted to do your profile, you would just click on over here in, in settings. You have an option to complete your profile. But for now, we're just going to look at funnels. So again, if I go to dashboard, main dashboard. 
This is my main dashboard. So nothing has happened. I don't have any new leads. There's no updates over here because I just created my account. So if you are logged in and you go straight to your dashboard where you want to head over to now that we've imported a funnel is the 2024 lead magnet funnel. And it's just, this is just what I named it. So this is what you have. And this is my recommendation. My recommendation is to just edit and play with this funnel. You can always import a new one. The tendency is to want to duplicate this one and edit the duplicate so you don't lose this one, but you can re-import this as many times as you want. But remember, if I go to system and I go to the free plan, you can see you only get three funnels. And so I don't want to muck up your account with a bunch of funnels. I want you to have one where you get to learn and play around with it, make mistakes and then customize it to a point that it's actually working and you can test it, which it could, could happen in the next 15 minutes. It doesn't take that long to, to learn how to use the system stuff. Here is the funnel right in your funnel account. Now, let me just go over a couple things right here real quick. In the spreadsheet that you have, one of the uh, first things that you need to do is to be able to name the funnel. And I have an entire checklist and framework for you in creating and editing funnels. So these are the steps to creating your landing pages. The first step is to choose your tech. And so in this case, it's system.io. Choose your tech for your email. And uh, that is also system.io because it handles the email stuff. This is one of the reasons I like this platform because these two things are integrated. And when you um, have to pay for different software. It can be expensive, but it can also be a pain trying to get them to talk to each other. And then you want to choose your tech for the offer. So if you're going to give away a PDF or a video, you just want to know what you're going to do for that. In this case, we're doing a PDF and I'm just creating a Canvas slide or document and turning that into a PDF, but you could use a Google document and turn that into a PDF. You could use Word and turn it into a PDF. So there's lots of different options there. So these are things that you could check off once you know what they are. And I have an example framework for you where I have gone ahead and in creating this exact template that you now have in your system.io account, this is what I did. I chose my tech and I chose my email tech, correcting my spelling errors while I'm going through this. So I went through each of these steps and this is how I created this template. And we're down here, I've tested it and then I'm ready to promote it. Over here, I have my primary colors that I'm using, the hex codes, and I have just a verbal written description of what those colors are. And then I also have written down the size of my fonts and the type of fonts that I'm using in this particular document. And then just for me, just to have another place where I have the links to the opt-in page and the thank you page, I have those here too. But one of the first things that I wanted to do in this whole, whole step was to name my document. And you will see that the name of my document is 2024 LM stands for lead magnet opt-in page. And so you will see throughout this thing, 2024 LM, and then opt-in is going to show up in tags. It's going to show up in my email sequence. And so it's really important that you have a very consistent naming convention for everything that has to do with your lead magnet. So let's go ahead and, and take a look and see how this shows up in your account. When I click on this, it shows me what those two pages are. Here is the, on the left-hand side, you can see 2024 free lead magnet. And this is the thank you page. And this is the, that's interesting. It's just two thank you pages. That's not right. So that is not labeled correctly. And this one, let's see final step. Okay, so this is good that we're doing this together because this is actually the opt-in page, the very first one that came in. You can see it says 2024 free live thank you page. This is actually the opt-in page. So let's change that opt-in page, right? We don't wanna confuse ourselves. And let me just make sure. So this is the opt-in page. And if I click on view funnel step, it'll show me. So there it is. That is definitely the opt-in page, all right? And there is the form, the little, when I went to click out of here, the form popped up, which is what it's supposed to do. When I click the button, the form pops up. That's what it's supposed to do. So that's all working. That's great. Let's go into the 2024 free lead magnet. Thank you page. And let's make sure that's correct. 
So that is all correct. And this, this button, I think I just have it set to go to a Facebook group. So don't, that's not meant to set to go to anything. I'll show you how to reset that. Okay, so we have our two pages. This inactive page shows up everywhere. So just ignore that, that will always be there. And if I wanted to add a step, let's say I actually wanted to add an upsell in between these two pages, I could add a step right in there and I could edit that page. So speaking of editing pages in our next video, I'm gonna show you how you can come in here and you can then start to customize and edit these pages. Mm -hmm.